Hello everyone, in today's class we will learn about computer forensics. A computer forensics, also known as computer forensic science, is a branch of digital forensic science pertaining to evidence found in computers and digital storage media. The goal of the computer forensic is to examine digital media in a forensically sound manner with the aim of identifying, preserving, recovering, analyzing and presenting facts and opinions about the digital information. This is generally used for the crimes. In today's era, we have found that most of the times the crime occurs by involving the electronic equipments or using any of the information technology based enabled devices. So this is a study of investigating the crime which took place by involving the information technology enabled devices. Although it is most often associated with the investigation of the wide variety of computer crime, computer forensics may also be used in civil proceedings. The discipline involves similar techniques and principles to data recovery but with additional guidelines and practices designed to create a legal audit trail. Evidence from computer forensics investigation is usually subjected to the same guidelines and practices of other digital evidence. It has been used in a number of high profile cases and is becoming widely accepted as reliable across the globe. Let's look into about important practices of computer forensics. Computer forensics combines the elements of law and computer science so as to collect the digital evidences while ensuring that collection process has retained data integrity, which means having proof that this digital evidence is not planned or the data has not been altered during investigation. The digital forensic investigation process follows these stages. The stages are identification, preservation, analysis, documentation and presentation. In identification phase, it identifies the purpose of the investigation as well as identifies the resources required. In preservation phase, data is isolated, secured and preserved. In analysis phase, identify tools and techniques to use for investigation process as well as to process the data and interpret analysis results. In documentation phase, documenting documentation of the crime scene along with photographing, sketching and crime scene mapping and in presentation phase that is the last phase of computer forensic investigation process deals with process of summarization and explanation of conclusion is done with the help to gather facts. The computer forensics also involve other subcategories as network forensics, web forensics, data forensics, proactive forensics, email forensics, enterprise forensics, cyber forensics, digital forensics and system forensics. These are the sub branches of computer forensics and this branch deals with the individual way of investigation in the respective branches or fields.